Deputy Minister of the Mineral Resources, colleagues, ambassadors, high commissioners, and members of the Diplomatic Corps, members of the Department of International Relations and Cooperation, comrades, friends, compatriotas venezolanos, special guests. I will, I, will, I will not give a long speech, don't worry. <laughs> uh, I just want to thank you for your presence here uh, today. To the South African government, thank you for the good relation that we have so far and which have gradually increased. This year, we celebrate 204 years of the Declaration of Independence of Venezuela. This year also, marked 200 years of the Jamaican letter, a historical document written by our liberator Simon Bolivar on September 6, 1815 in Kingston, Jamaica, where the liberator captured a guide to freedom and prosperity for our peoples, as Commander Chavez mentioned 10 years ago in Montego Bay, Jamaica, in the first Petro-Caribbean summit. In this letter of historical significance, the Liberator reflects of the struggle for independence in a regional context. In its emancipatory perspective, Bolivar described it as the great idea of trying to form a single nation, a single origin, language, customs, and religion throughout the new world. The validity of the Bolivar reflection is also saying when he say that the veil that the veil was torn and we have sent the light and they want us to return to the darkness. We have broken the chains. We have already been free and our enemies seek to enslave us again. Two thousand hundred four anniversary of independence of Venezuela is a date of ratification of our consciousness of our, and of anti-imperialism too, as well as our full determination to defend under all circumstances the popular sovereignty uh, of all Venezuelans, cap with the continuance of our foreign policy of solidarity, which we have named Bolivarian Diplomacy of Peace as it seeks to pass, pursue the integration and the union of all the countries of the region, as well as with our brothers in Africa. 204 years have passed, and the commitment to main, maintaining a free, sovereign, and independent Venezuela crumbled with greater force in the present, in spite of the political, economic, psychological, and media war, driven by imperial interests against our country. Because we have a conscious people, we have been able to overcome this attack with dignity, courage, and bravery. Our test is to create a condition that we may it possible to continue to build our destiny in peace, sovereignty, independence, equality, and social justice. Thank you.